Today, we are unraveling a digital feud that has got Nigerians and South Africans in a playful yet petty war. It's all about boat rides. Yes, you heard that right. The hashtag boat for boat is buzzing across social media with thousands of mentions as citizens of these two African giants engage in a back and forth battle that's leaving drivers on both sides caught in the crossfire. So buckle up as we take you through this ride that's got everyone talking and what exactly led to the digital war in the first place. You are watching the African Heritage Channel and just in case you're new around here, kindly give us a punch on the subscribe button and like button as well and stay tuned for more African stories just like today's. So, how did we get here in the first place? Well, the whole drama kicked off when former Miss South Africa contestant Chidima Adichina, who recently landed in Nigeria to compete in the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant, became the epicenter of an online storm. After withdrawing from the Miss South Africa competition due to a nationality dispute, Chidema faced a wave of backlash from South Africans. The tension didn't just stop there. It quickly spewed over onto social media platforms like X, formerly known as Twitter, where users started taking matters into their own hands, or should we say into their boat apps. In a move that can only be described as digital mischief, some South Africans began booking boat rides in Nigeria only to cancel them just as the drivers arrived. This prank was their way of expressing frustration over the controversy surrounding Chidema's withdrawal. But Nigerians, known for their resilience and humor, weren't going to sit back and let this slide. Oh no, they clapped back really hard. Nigerian users started doing the same thing to South African drivers, but with an added twist, of course. They would engage the drivers in conversations, directed them to impossible to find locations, or in good fun, or so they thought. This prank quickly turned into a game of digital cat and mouse fight, with both sides trying to outdo each other. The result, well, a chaotic scene where both drivers in both countries are left frustrated, driving around with no passengers and wasting precious fuel, especially in Nigeria where the fuel is gold. The situation escalated to the point where the hashtag boat for boats began trending, racking up thousands of mentions as people joined in or simply watched the madness unfold. Meanwhile, some Nigerians took the prank to the next level by requesting multiple rides to a single location, causing traffic jams and confusion, especially at places like or Tambo Airport in Johannesburg. But here's the kicker. While South Africans are reportedly paying to cancel these rides, Nigerians enjoy the privilege of canceling for free. This little detail added more fuel to the fire with Nigerians taking the opportunity to call out what they saw as an unfair advantage. Yet, despite their humorous undertones, this feud has real-world consequences. For many drivers, platforms like Bolt and Uber are their primary source of income. The cancellations, though meant as jokes, are hitting them where it hurts, right in their wallets. With high fuel costs and an already of economic climate in Nigeria, these pranks are doing more harm than good if you ask me. Some voices on X have called for a truce, pointing out that this digital warfare is hurting innocent people who are just trying to make a living. But as it stands, the feud rages on with no clear end in sight. Nigerians seem to be just warming up, while South Africans are slowly starting to feel the heat. Whether it's a case of national pride or just a light-hearted rivalry, this hashtag boat for boat saga is certainly one for the books. And there you have it, a tale of two nations, a beauty queen and a bunch of frustrated boat drivers caught in the middle of a digital prank war. It's a story that is as entertaining as it is concerning, reminding us of the power and sometimes the pitfalls of social media. As this saga continues to unfold, we can only hope that cooler heads prevail and that both sides can find a way to laugh this off without causing more harm. Thank you for staying with us through this wild ride. Remember, here at African Heritage Channel, we bring you the stories that matter and the ones that just make you shake your head in disbelief. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe as well for more trendy stories just like this one. Until next time, keep it light, keep it fun, and let's hope this boat feud finds a peaceful end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you in our next video. Bye-bye. Okay.
Oh, where, where are you? I'm in the bank, I'm coming outside. Just pack it, leave the doors unlocked. Me and my team is coming out. We are doing a little robbery. We are coming. John Asbo. Can you hear me? <laughs> do, do a drift. Show your skills, your driving skills. Do a drift around the front of the bank. We are coming outside with my team. We just finished the robbery. Hey, Zumoto lasers busy. End our new one. Pick up in the Omunto Yohan. Pick up. So, gents, I am a request lava corner. Bongo Uba Black, Bongo Bar, now it's gone. I go blind. I don't have much to say, so I'm just really excited that I'm in my father's land and I want to get to experience more about it. It's been 20 years since I've been here, so I just want to get to know more about the culture and where I really come from. So, my goal is obviously to win the crown for Miss Universe Nigeria, and I do have an impact that I want to share with everybody. As a woman who has obviously faced adversity, I want to use my story to bring people together. I want us to value diversity and celebrate our differences. By that way, we can build a stronger community that benefits everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's lovely. My, you have a beautiful smile, by the way. <laughs>